Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Monday, December 11th, 2023 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I am grateful for the alchemical practice. And whew, we've got an interesting week. Definitely some alchemical work going on as we have a new moon in Sagittarius building. That's going to be Tuesday afternoon. We have Mercury going retrograde uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, depending where you are at. Um, is that it? Is that it for this week ahead? Only those two things. But I spent a lot of time this weekend working with the 2024 Astros, looking at that. And how I came out of it was feeling grateful for the practice <laughs> that we've had with Plutonic colonic energies and the practice of this Scorpio Sagittarius alchemical path where we find ourselves in the bottom, when we find ourselves in the shadow, find ourselves in the challenge, and remembering the power of our mind, remembering the power of our vision, remembering that we can pull and move ourselves beyond that place. We can take those lessons and use them to buoy ourselves to potentially even greater heights. I think this lesson is of the utmost importance <laughs> as we face 2024. And here we have it, these next two days specifically, really working this. So today, we're actually going to have the moon finishing up in Scorpio and moving into Sagittarius. Now, even though it's moving into Sagittarius, we are in the deep dark of the moon. And this is like, it's like the dark, it's the psyche, it's the unconscious within us that houses so much it's the void. It's the void in us that houses so much unknown that reflects into our actual life all the time. And so be patient and present with this energy. Wolf. <laughs> There's some wolf antics happening. And practice your personal alchemical work in and through this. Now I also think it's interesting this Mercury retrograde that's coming in this week has us beginning in Capricorn going back into Sagittarius. So we have like this Sagittarius bridge both ways and that vision energy is going to be important as we move both ways uh, into these Sagittarius energies. So the moon before it moves into Sagittarius will be connecting to Pluto. That's very early in the morning, but just watch for where fears um, and issues around personal authority, personal power come up for you in and through this alchemical process. Uh, moon into Sagittarius at 3.11 a.m. Pacific time. Um... Like I said, we're in the dark of the moon, but it's okay to like dance with how these shadows, these challenges are asking you to hone your vision, to maybe uh, even a parent, uh, and the word I'm getting is again, buoy potentially, there we go, potentially buoy your vision by taking you through some of the contrast that you have blocking this vision from being. So watch for that. And of course, the first connection that the moon is making is with Saturn, the ultimate blocker. Saturn's like, you have not learned the lesson yet. You must learn the lesson before I can open the gates to you. And these lessons are karmic because Saturn is in Pisces deep roots in and through this. They also may be a little bit emotional and you may find rather than wanting to face them that you go into escapism. So whether it's through food or alcohol or scrolling, there's so many ways we distract ourselves, but notice the distraction and notice what you're distracting yourself from because what you're distracting yourself from is this karmic task at hand that you have the potential to alchemize and break through. Uh, oh, speaking of breakthrough, we also have the sun 
whew, the sun in an in conjunct with Uranus. So not really seeing eye to eye. Again, Uranus is helping us work with some liberation energies, which is wonderful. Just looking at the chart, which is wonderful, but Uranus can be very triggery. So here comes some triggers. Again, don't avoid these things. This is where you have to do the work. Joe and I have this conversation very often. He's like, you trigger me. And I'm like, not trying to, but <laughs> that is not my issue. The trigger is something in you to heal. I'm being Mimi. I am being okay. And I'm not saying that we should go around purposely triggering people. It's not purposeful. It's like sometimes just my presence, <laughs> right? So, so watch for those areas coming up and see where is it something in you that is needing addressing in and through this energy. And there's a big chance there's some value pieces that will be coming up in and through this. We also have Speaking of, speaking of triggers, Mercury and Venus um, connecting. This is a sextile. So it's a happy, lovely connection. Um, Venus and Scorpio, though, again, dealing with maybe some of the, some of the challenging energies. And Mercury in its last, you know, last little moments before going retrograde is like, hey, Maybe there's some things I need to review in how we're physically showing up and how how I'm approaching the shoulds that you need to like, I don't know, asking Venus for some boundaries to really empower the self-love. So watch for that in and through all of this. That being said, I have wonderful cards. Like, whoa, wonderful cards. And oh my God, they are literally all major arcana cards. And, oh my god, they're in number order. And this is my deck that's, like, ancient. Like, <laughs> there's no reason why they should be like this. And if you saw even the way I pulled them, I pulled them so random. So, the Fool. We are carving some new pathways for ourselves with this incoming new moon. This is a powerful, visionary new moon. So, clear that clutter out. Listen to your inner voice. Listen to your higher self. Trust your higher self in and through this process. Here we have the lovers. So I don't know if this is like about loving yourself, loving the reflection of yourself in the world, the universe loving you. There's a lot of different ways that, ah, oh, that's the message. There's so many ways that love is showing up for you right now to support you through your alchemical process. Love yourself through the process. That will support this. Silence card. The silence card is the star card. It is a card of success. Like beautiful future success. But I also love the silence aspect. Take some time. Meditate. Clear these energies. Do a clearing. I don't care if it's smudge, if it's a bath, if you take a shower, if you just intend the light of the universe to cleanse your aura, to cleanse your energy. Do some cleansing so that you can like I don't know. Joe used to have a thing on his, what was it? Like stop the noise or something like was his sign off on his, I wish he was in here so I could ask him, but that's what I'm hearing. It's like, there's, there's a call to stop some of the noise just to reconnect with yourself, with that higher self, with the love of the universe. And here is the innocence card, the sun card. It is a card of beautiful success. Some people like to say this is the best card in the deck so like these cards are like don't don't worry if you're feeling the challenge like here we are in the midst of this love your process practice your alchemy process trust the universe and trust yourself to to and that you are working with the universe trust that so that's it for today. You can book a 2024 year ahead readings. The options are down below. I have several options for different, you know, pay rates. I find it helpful to like have an idea of what's going on. Um, you can also book a holiday reading, a holiday gift certificate. You can purchase. Email me if you have any questions. Besides all this, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. See, I remember when I'm looking at myself, I'm like, I see more than enough love. <laughs> you have the power. 
and remember who you are. Namaste.